Hey everybody and welcome back or welcome to another one of my videos. My name is Lauren Porter and you're watching Quarters with Porter. So today's video is so hard for me to make because if you didn't know, you know now. I'm a John Collins girl, like cue the clip. Repping you just John. like disappeared, you show back up again. Even though he didn't play tonight. I know you're flying somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Always. So, you know. I'll, always you know, always. repping number 20. Okay. I'm actually about to embarrass myself a little bit right now. Like, I'm going to put a picture right here of me meeting John Collins in like 2000, I think 18. See, I was probably like 17 in this picture. Embarrassing. I know a lot of Hawks fans have mixed feelings about John Collins, but I am not one of those fans. I am a John Collins girl down and down. Like, come on now. Come on now, like, you see you see it, you see it, and now these jerseys are going to waste. But as sad as it is to see John Collins go, it's also a trade that needed to definitely happen. He was in a terrible, terrible contract, and he was honestly holding us back. While my heart is broken, I'm definitely excited for the future and what the Hawks are going to do with the amount of cap space that has opened up by trading John Collins. So let's go ahead and talk about this trade. So in this trade, John Collins was traded to the Utah Jazz, and in return, we received Rudy Gay and a second round pick i'm not gonna lie we low-key traded not low-key we high-key traded john collins for a bag of chips but we weren't gonna get much for him anyways because of the terrible contract he's in let's talk about that contract so john collins is under contract for three more years he had an 125 million dollar deal and he still owed 73 million more dollars so that contract right there was the exact reason he needed to be traded as much as I love John, he does not produce the same way that he used to. There can be different reasons for that, but at the end of the day, he's not producing the way that we need him to, especially for a contract of that size. So this trade does not become official till July 6th, but it's going to honestly be so weird to see John Collins in a Utah Jazz jersey. Like, I can't believe it. It's like it's literally I still cannot even believe this is real life like if you know you know John Collins was my lock screen for like three years like please keep your girl in your prayers roster wise the Atlanta Hawks did not improve much in this trade let's talk about Rudy Gay the player who we received from the Utah Jazz so Rudy Gay is a little bit older of a player he's a veteran he's 36 years old he is another power forward which you know lost one gain one in his last nba season he averaged 5.2 points and 2.9 rebounds so not a huge production player but i guess we'll utilize him some way he was drafted in 2006 like i was literally six years old that's kind of crazy because i'm 22 now but you know, welcome to Atlanta Rudy Gay. You know, I accept all players on our team. So like I said, the Hawks did not get much better roster wise with this move because honestly, John Collins was never a bad player. It was just a contract issue with him because you know, we've all seen John Collins do amazing things for the Atlanta Hawks. Like do y'all remember that Joel and V dunk? Because I do. John Collins was a very exciting player and the duo of him and Trey Young it's a duo I will never forget. When Trey Young tweeted this yesterday, I had to shed a few tears because, you know, as you guys know, I'm a huge Hawks fan. And John Collins has been on our team since 2017. He was drafted here in Atlanta. So it's just very heartbreaking to see him go, even though it was something that needed to be done. But on the bright side, the departure of John Collins gives us lots of opportunities to extend other players on our team, such as three core players, DeJounte Murray, Onyeka Okonkwo, and Sadiq Bey, who joined the Hawks last year and has been doing a great job so far. And with Collins leaving, this also gives Jalen Johnson time to shine more. You know, I believe he's going into his third season this year, and I think he's going to get a lot more minutes now that John Collins is leaving, so I'm excited to see how he's going to do. The Hawks are said to be entering deal maker mode so I'm excited to see what that means. Our new general manager Landry Fields now has the opportunity to move into a luxury tax. Honestly I'm excited for John Collins to get a fresh start with a new team. I will forever be a fan like no matter where he's at I'll be a fan. He will forever be a Hawk to me. Jazz are honestly in rebuilding mode right now so hopefully John Collins is going to get a lot of opportunity to show people that he is worthy of that contract. 
On the downside for the Utah Jazz, they were one of seven teams that had enough cap space for free agency this summer, but with this trade, they lose a lot of that cap space, which let me know how you guys feel about this trade. You know, my heart is shattered into a million pieces, but are you guys happy? Are you guys sad? Is it a bittersweet type of thing? Because that's how I'm feeling. I feel like this is a very bittersweet trade. But yeah, comment down below how you guys feel. And that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more sports content from your girl. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.